learn from our mistakes and don't forget the holes. Today we are making some salt dough ornaments for a cousin ornament exchange. We made uh, some salt dough ornaments about nine years ago. So here's a tree that we made. And here is a little house that was made. So we just make these out of salt dough. We dry them out in the oven over many, many hours. And then we just let the kids paint them. So it's kind of fun. And we add this little cute tag. So this one says, Christmas 2013. We also let the kids make their, we let the kids make an ornament for themselves to keep. So they make one ornament to give to a cousin and one to keep for themselves. Uh oh. I like salt dough because it's super easy. It's just three ingredients, flour, salt, and water. I don't remember the proportions for them. So I just looked them up on Google. I found an interesting article that gave a couple different ratio options and the pros and cons of each of them. So I'll link that down in the description. But I'm just gonna pick one of their ratios and go for it. We are basically tripling the recipe today because we have to make about 30 ornaments. Now we have a nice dough that holds together pretty well. Feels kind of like Play-Doh. We're gonna roll it out. We're gonna roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to our rolling pin, which is actually a cup because we don't have a rolling pin right now. And these are all of the Christmas type cookie cutters that will actually work for this projects. Each of you gets to do two um, ornaments. So pick, you can do two of the same or you can do two different ones. We have 29 ornaments cut, 12 for gifts for cousins, 12 for our kids to keep, four for another set of cousins, and one that we keep for ourselves. Now we're gonna put these in the oven for a few hours and we'll paint them tomorrow. We forgot to put holes in the top of the ornaments. So partway through our drying cycle, Danielle took them and drilled holes through, just with a drill. And then we finished baking them. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes and don't forget the holes. We, now it is Friday. We are going to pass these out and let the kids start painting them. Benjamin. Yes, they are solid. Wait until I come around. Come around again. Jake, I think it's gonna make it. I'm just gonna use it for my boat too.
just like that. I'm not you know, he's all black. Like, no. He was seven months old. He was older than I was when I Mom. I'm not done, so don't film me. I'm gonna probably get myself. Your angel is awesome. All my weight is turning gray. My snack doesn't have it. I got me. got some weird. You're a bear. Do you think they're a bear? I did it. You did it. My hair not dry. You know, it'll take a while to dry because you got it very wet. Okay. Danielle got a bit creative. We didn't have any toothpicks. <laughs> and Christine took one of the tines for her project over here too. While the girls finish up painting and while the rest of the ornaments finish drying, I wanted to share with you our ornament boxes. So this is a box that, uh, this one is Joseph's, and it's just a box from Michael's and we Mod Podge some fabric on it. And he stores all of his Christmas ornaments in here uh, when it's not Christmas. And when it is Christmas time, he takes all, so this one's empty because all of his ornaments are on the tree. But this box also just sits out as decoration. And then this one is another box we have, so they all have different fabric on them so that uh, we can tell them apart. This one is Lucy's, we also wrote names. <laughs> so this one's Lucy's. And then this box is mine. And this is the box that my mom made for me when I was growing up and where I store my ornaments. And my ornaments are not on the tree right now because it's already really full. So the last couple of years I haven't been putting my ornaments up. I started collecting ornaments when I was a kid because my cousins sent Christmas ornaments um, to me. We had a cousin ornament exchange when I was growing up. And so like, this is one of the ornaments that I got from my cousin. She was like, wrote some cute things on it um, and then this is another ornament that was just a store-bought one um, that my cousin gave me but it's beautiful so I kept that one and then we have a whole bunch of ornaments here that we made and I always make an ornament for the family to keep and I keep it in my box so this is one that we made in 2017 um, so we have lots of different lots of different ornaments and different things that we've done over the years we don't have every single ornament that we've ever made. Now I just have a couple left and some other really special ornaments um, that are special to me. But this box um, serves as a great container. So all of my ornaments have to fit in here or I have to let some go. The next step in our salt dough ornaments is to make tags for them. So we made uh, these tags. This one is for the ornament that Matthew gets to keep. I have a document formatted to print labels and I just use that to create the name tag things. And I just updated that for this year and then printed it out on paper and we laminated that. Then we cut out the tags. Now we're going to hole punch these tags and then thread them through the hole in our salt dough ornaments and tie them on. Then I printed out a sheet of labels with the same tags, and we will use these to stick on the present after we wrap each ornament. And then we will sh package them up and ship them off to their cousins. The kids are watching a show inside, so it's a little too loud to film. I am on my way to run some errands. I'm gonna take some of these ornaments to my brothers, some to my sisters, and the rest to the post office to get sent off. We had a great time making these ornaments. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any cousin traditions around Christmas. I would love to know. Have a great day.